Good morning everyone, Jordan here from Tools for Sparks. Welcome back to the channel. And if you love tools for electricians and other tradesmen, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out because I post regular videos here all about tools. And today's something a bit different. Now, I know this is not gonna be everyone's cup of tea because most of you, my viewers here are electricians, but I like to do a bit of carpentry work every so often as kind of a hobby. And I've got a bench, like a, a picnic bench type thing, which I need to plane. So today I got myself one of these, which is a Makita DKP180Z planer. It's a battery planer using the Makita LXT system, which most of my cordless tools are from that system. So they have these interchangeable batteries, which can be used on all of their different power tools that they produce and this is going to be used for me to plane the tabletop of my picnic bench in the garden because it's a bit of a mess so I need to plane it and then sand it down. So I just want to show you quickly a few of the features of this. Um, so it's got obviously a planer can be quite a dangerous tool so there's a few safety features on here. First of all you have to push that down then you can pull the trigger to activate it. But there's also another safety feature under here, which is this. So unless it's actually pushed against a piece of wood or something like that, it won't actually activate. Um, so how planer works is the blade here rotates uh, in this direction, the direction of the arrow, and the blade can be raised or lowered using this adjustment dial so that you can choose the thickness of the cut and it essentially is just gonna shave off a certain amount of millimeters from the top of the wood. Um, it's got the hole here for the dust extraction so you can connect a dust extraction system to it or you can get a bag that will just hold the dust that comes out of it so that's quite handy. Um, and the blades can be changed. They do provide you with a key tool here so that you can undo this and there's this um, little device here which is used to actually fit the new blades it's a sort of a guide to make sure that the new blades go on exactly the way you want them to go on there's also this which is quite a handy little thing so I'll show you this basically this just slides in there and then you can use it as like an edge guide. So for example, if I show you on here, if I was to be planing this uh, table, for example, this edge guide will allow me to plane nice and smoothly in a straight line. Um, and I can obviously adjust the edge guide so that I can, I can even overlap the edge slightly. Just tighten that up. So I can plane exactly on the edge of this table if I want to. So that's quite a handy little provision that they have designed in and it just slides through and tightens up using this little dial and you can just remove it. Again, so it's just a nice way to be able to get a straight line on some edges. There's also another feature here, which is for chamfering. So you've got this V-shaped guide here, and you can use that to do chamfered edges. So for example, on this table again, if I wanted to do a chamfered edge at an angle, I would use that guide and I can go along. Obviously it's not a very, um, it's quite a rounded corner on this. So it's a little bit slippy, but I can just run it along like that and do a chamfered edge on my wood if I want to. So it's a great little bit of kit, this. I'm looking forward to using it. I wanted to just do a quick video about it before first use because it's going to get covered in dust. Let me know in the comments if you've got one of these. And uh, do you like doing a bit of carpentry work yourself? I personally find working with wood really satisfying. This desk, for example, here that I'm using every day for my Tools for Sparks videos. Um, this is some oak from some old doors in a cottage that I salvaged and I sanded and, and oiled this myself 
and made it into a small desk for my office. And I just find it so satisfying to work with wood. I think there's something so beautiful about it, so tactile and um, just something really satisfying about working with wood. Let me know in the comments if you feel the same. Do you like doing a bit of woodwork? Do you happen to be a Makita fan? Or do you prefer other tools, Milwaukee, DeWalt, whatever? Let me know in the comments all your go-to power tools. And I will try to post more power tool videos. This is pretty much the first one because it's the first new power tool that I've bought in a while. But if you want, let me know in the comments. I can show you some of my other power tools that I've got, like my drills, drivers, um, circular saw, planer, um, sorry, sander, um, and various other Makita items that I've got. As always guys, thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this video hit a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel because I post regular tool videos here all about tools for sparks and other craftsmen. Thanks for watching and have a great day.